RFID systems are all around us. They help us go through toll booths faster, they help stores keep track of inventory, and they're even in a lot of toys. But there's no reason why the RFID chips need to stay in their original housing. In this project, I'm going to show you how to transplant an RFID chip into a different housing to make it more convenient, or at least more fun to use. As an example, I'm going to be using a chip from a security key fob. This kind of chip is normally used to unlock doors in an office building. First, you need to open up the housing. To do this, you can either crack the glue seam by squeezing it with a pair of pliers, or you can cut it open with a rotary tool. Next, you need to remove the RFID chip. I decided that the safest way to remove the chip was to slowly cut it out with a rotary tool. You need to be extremely careful, because RFID chips are fragile and very easy to break. I actually broke the first chip that I was using in this project. Now you need to decide on a new housing for your RFID chip. You can use just about anything, but I recommend using a housing with hard rigid sides, such as the inside of a multi-tool. My favorite housing for an RFID chip is an ordinary stick. That way you can wave it around like a magic wand, and it will actually unlock your door. To mount an RFID chip in a stick, just drill a hole in one end that's the same size as the chip, and then slide it in place. Adding glue helps to both hold the chip in place and to protect it, so feel free to use a lot of glue. Once the glue is fully cured, it's time to test it out to make sure that it still works. If all went well, it'll still function normally and you'll be able to use it just like a regular key fob. Try it out and have fun. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos. Aloha Mora!